Matt, in terms of this week, it's a bit of a longer break. Do you do anything different to help you break free of the struggle? We, yeah, it was great to have a long week. We were able to work on a little bit more of our game, so we'll have a session this morning which will enable us to work on a few areas. Um, last week was a sharp week, um, which in some ways was good, but this, is, this has been a good week for us. We've already had a session out on the grass, been able to work on some of that execution, just getting plenty of footies in our hands and, and work on the areas of the game we have to. Structure around the ball was a big focus last week. Is that continuing this week? And did you like what you saw in the game? Yeah, if, if we took a step at all last week, it was in that area. It was our system. Um, you know, the habits that we've built up over years, we're able to get back to that. Um, and it kept us in a game against a, you know, a high-quality side. And in the end, as I mentioned, the execution let us down, unfortunately, again. And so that's, you know, we know we've got to improve in that area. But from a system point of view, last week was a, was a step in the right direction. Is that because you started to take a few more risks going into the corridor? I think that was the message at half-time, to be a bit more risky, but... Oh, we've yeah, we've spoken a fair bit about us taking the game on and using, you know, any opportunity we get, um, you know, often intercept going back um, at the opposition, uh, looking to inflict a little more damage than we are at the moment. Um, so it's not faster or slower necessarily, but it's actually a mindset to really have a crack when you get your chances. That's one area, but I wouldn't say necessarily it's all regarding you know shooting back through the corridor. I think our system put us in positions last week that gave us those opportunities, and unfortunately we didn't capitalise. Personnel-wise, are you expecting many changes? We'll have one forced again, unfortunately, with Paddy Parnell, um, but that'll create an opportunity for, for, for someone else to step up. Um, yeah, Will Hamill's trained well throughout the pre-season, and we went with Paddy Parnell ahead of Will a few weeks ago, and so he'll, he may get his look. Yeah, you talked about um, selection post-match pressure about being, if you go back and see who can come in and play the role that's required. Mm. Do you have the players there at the moment? You mentioned you know, the sample had many, many games that had buys. Have you had a look at the selection? Is there guys you can bring in or are you pretty limited at the moment? Yeah, no, there's guys ready to, ready to step up and play. Um, it's then just being on board and that connection and cohesion that we're after, making sure they're coming in and playing their role as well. So we don't need anyone to come in and do anything special it's it's come in and play your role and i thought last week the 23 we selected played re really well in that space um we're disappointed to lose patty to you know what's a shoulder injury at the moment but we won't know more on that for probably another week or so um but again as i mentioned it creates an opportunity and and will hamill's a chance i'd say more than likely to come in and fill that role so therefore despite the losses it is a little bit this week about sticking yeah, I, I mean, in a perfect world, you'd like to play the same team every week, and it, it often plays out that way when you get results. Um, the weekend, our process was strong. You know, we got a lot of areas right. We didn't come out with the outcome we were after, um, but we're not going to make wholesale changes now. We'll, we'll stick to what we went with last week, take the game on a little more. You know, when we get our opportunities, but from a personnel point of view, we'll, you know, we may make one, maybe two changes, but they'll only be small tweaks. How confident are you can turn things around just in general this week? Oh, look, we're really confident in what we've done. I mean, we've we've built habits over a, you know a long period of time. This is it's not something we're not in our best form. There's no doubt about that. But we've had our opportunities. You know, we've been in games where there's been opportunities for us to execute and finish games off and, and get a result. Now, in the end, we, we haven't done that. We've still got a lot of confidence in the way we play, the, the brand of footy we, we're playing. We've, we've got to improve our skills and improve our, our forward to centre work. At the moment, we, that connection's just not where it needs to be. But we've, we've got the opportunities. You, know, we, you look at some of the numbers, inside 50s, we're performing reasonably well on. How can we capitalise on that is our challenge. Do you have to redefine what success looks like this season? Obviously, you can still make finals. I'm not saying you can't, but if you don't make finals, can you still have a successful season? You, you know, that, if, you, if you stay in that bigger picture view, we're, we're locked right in now on what's going to get it done this week. And we've even gone more fine than that. We'll look at each quarter. How do we get this quarter done? And that's part of our process, which I felt, and we felt in, on review last week, we did really well. You know, we came out and we executed in the first quarter of the game. Um, there were periods of time where Melbourne and, you know, were able to get on top of us. We weren't quite able to hold them back when they executed. But we, we had our chances right throughout. So we'll lock in again. Carlton, what is it we need to do this week? We'll continue to go with that. And if we get the process right, 
the, the outcome looks after itself. Because you look back at the last quarter, obviously, when the game was in the balance, you had some senior guys stuck on the bench. Is that a, a planning thing that you have to reassess, or is that just what happens in, in a football match sometimes when the ball's on the outer side, maybe? Um, yeah, the intent is, is to obviously have our, our players out there that have experience in those moments. Um, it can happen where a player gets, gets caught off the ground. It's by no means an intention. Um, yeah, we'll continue to look at that. It's a few of the games now, I think the Suns game, the Cats game, the D's game, it's felt like something has flipped late in the game and the players have upped their intensity and seen the play with the freedom. Now, imagine if you're behind the game, then you make some changes to allow that. But are you able to get the bottom line if that's happening, that the mm. players are actually seeming to come out of their shell late in the game and by then it's a little bit too little too late? Yeah, it's a fair comment and we've, we've looked at that as a group. You know, our ability to be a little more assertive, as I mentioned, a little bit more aggressive when we get our opportunities. And, and maybe that's something that we are doing later in games when, when we really need to. Um, it's something we've addressed as a group. You know, our ability to play with that mindset from the start. In saying that, I, th I felt like last week we started in that mode. So um, we're making progress. Um, we've got a lot of other parts of our game right. It's now a matter of us you know, getting it done when we've got our opportunity. To that, you've talked about maybe early in the season players maybe trying too hard. Is when you're trying to get to the bottom of this, is, is there a risk that you can overanalyze and really drill down so much that the players are again overthinking in, in these moments? Well, that's one of the things that we're, we're not doing at, at this point. We're, we're, we're not adding more detail, we're stripping back. Not that we've got a, a hell of a lot of detail in there, but it's where we talk about system. You know, sometimes it can look like where the effort's not there, but it's actually us pushing too hard, not, not trusting each other, trusting the roles. Um, I felt on the weekend we, we took a step in the right direction in that space. Sam Walsh has a chance maybe to play this week. Does that change anything for you guys, obviously? It, uh, no, just, uh, <laughs> it doesn't change a lot for us, but it changes a lot for our oppo. He's an outstanding player. It strengthens our oppo and makes the challenge bigger. If we had time, we could talk through the detail of our inside 50s, but it's an area we're looking at, you know, um, and we're spending a, a fair bit of time in it. We have stripped it right back. Uh, I think our players are confident in the areas that we need to improve on. Um, it's not an individual that's, that's, that's costing us in that area. It's a team and our ability to be composed in that moment and, and come together and work a system as a team. Um, the positive with that is we are having our opportunities. If we start making the most of those, we'll, the game will turn pretty quickly. Well, yeah. There's a large part about still leading patterns from the forwards and just putting yourselves in the right spot that's predictable for the field. Oh, It's a combination. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not one area of our group. It's not our forwards. Um, it's not mids and, or backs. It's, it's a combination of our connection. Um, at the moment, we don't have that connection where it needs to be. And so against the teams that we've played, when, when we talk about Geelong and Melbourne, well, they're extremely well connected. So they're able to defend those moments. Um, we've got to be better if we, if we want to come out with the outcome in those games. Are the boards being a bit too stagnant, though? I'm just thinking of games where you have like Tom Stewart and Stephen May who are just easily out of stand there and intercept. Is there just not enough movement going on? Yeah, no, again, it's, it's not one area of our game. It's, you know, it's a combination of our ball use, our composure with the ball in hand, some of our patterns you know, off the ball. Um, clear to us when we watch it during the week, the, the challenge with some of these things is it's not just click your fingers and change it overnight. However, we took a step in the right direction last week. We'd like to now take that another level again against Carlton. Is there any progress with Rory Sloan? Are we likely to see him in the sample this week or anything? Uh, probably not this weekend, but I've had, yeah, had a chat this morning again with Sloan. He'll, he'll train today and work a little bit more contest work. Um, and there's a balance with this. It's both physical and mental for Rory, his ability to get used to wearing the, the goggles. Um, get used to having bodies around again and, and as, as he keeps working his way through that, there's, there's no timeline on that. He and I will just keep sitting down together. Um, Rory's a, he's a warrior. He wants to get out and play, but he's, he's being very professional when it comes to this and he's looking at both how can he help the team at the moment, which he's desperate to do, but also what's important for him and his family long term. How about the positives and, and you know, feel like you are making ground, but can, can you feel the unrest Yeah, the, I, the, it's understandable the frustration. I think that comes when you're not executing. 
Um, and it stands out when, when our skills aren't necessarily at the level. And that's unfortunately where it's at at the moment. You know, that's, what adds to the frustration is we're so close and, and yet that, you know, that target missed here or there or the decision, um, you know, the poor decision here or there, it's, it's so costly against, you know, the, the team is so, uh, sorry, the, the league's so even at the moment. Small mistakes can really cost you in the end. Um, so un the frustration's understandable. We have that internally at this point as well. But what we do know is we're, we're taking steps in the right direction. Oh, we were always working on how we can get the road road wins to a level or a standard of play. Again, it comes back to sticking to the simple things that we're working through. We go to Marvel at a, a ground that's you know pretty tough to win away at. Um, it's not one we play at indoor regularly, obviously, but um, that's our work on is to stick to what we're doing and make sure we keep taking small steps. On another topic, you'd, you'd be aware how much um, education players get when it comes to racism, sexism, homophobia. Do you feel like? Oh, that's, it's not a, not one for me to comment on. I, I'm not going to add any value to that, um, so I'd prefer not to. Tracking really well, Shawnee. Yeah, he, he'll train again. You'll see him out there today. Um, there'll still be a non-contact, um, I guess, piece to it, uh, just in the short term. But he'll just keep progressing. He's going really well. He's trained well throughout. Murray will be out on the on the ground as well. Again, non non-contact at this point. Um, but both progressing really well. Wayne Miller is on radio this week commentating the game. I'm not sure if you're aware, but is that something... I wasn't. You, oh, I wasn't sure it was something maybe you'd encourage to, to seek something outside of footy, but obviously if you're unaware. Maybe. No, no, I spoke to Wayne yesterday, and, yeah, he's... Uh, unfortunately, he's laid up a, a bit at the moment. He didn't mention the commentating thing. I'll follow that up with him. <laughs> Good on him. Is that a hard oh, schedule like for Shani? I think it said in a, an injury update only a week away from, from sample for... Getting injured in round 24 last year with an Achilles, that's going to be a pretty impressive recovery. Yeah, very deliberate by our rehab group, which have done an outstanding job, both with, with Shawnee and, and Muzz this year. Um, now, from a scheduling point of view, I think it's just one we just keep going week by week. But at the moment, to have both of those guys have been out in a number of drills, you know, getting amongst it. But the contact part is the next, the next step, is at what point do we get them in and start, you know, in the tackling drills and and the lifting the physicality, but at this point, Shawnee's doing a great job.